All right, another puppy pack five of a kind attempt. And if you're paying close attention, you'll notice that this is actually the original puppy pack. And I thought I would quickly show this to demonstrate the, the changes to Tabby Cat. So previously it was a 5-3 and it gave um, temporary attack when you fed it any food at all. However, now they've changed it so that it's only uh, food perks. Um, and this was the closest I got to getting five tabbies in the previous version. Uh, you can see here I've got the, you know, I'm trying to race to a quick win and I've got the rabbit to boost the scaling every time I buy food. But the problem was I got the triple early tabby cat and then I never saw another one for the rest of the game. So here we are on turn 13. We're still running a four squad so we can buy sell cow. And I actually get matched with another four squad and that's going to result in me winning it too quickly. To be honest, if, if the game had carried on much longer to find the, the other two tabby cats, I would have probably lost anyway. So that was the closest I came in the previous version. Now we're going to work on the new version. And you can see here what happens. I get the lucky roll, two tabby cats on turn three. I take the level up on the beaver and sell it straight away to give the attack. And then we get tropical fish. So the tabbies are instantly 6-5 from their starting stats of 4-2. So yeah, the starting stats were nerfed. Not 100% sure why, given that the ability was also nerfed. Um, but ultimately, a lot of the five of a kinds in this early version of this pack, it's not really going to matter too much what the ability is. It's really dependent on finding the right units to scale the team. So we've got three tabbies on board on turn four, which is very good going. And I'm setting up the balloon there um, so that I can potentially find Pangolin and pill it because that's a great way to get a, a health boost and um, I think I'm just buy selling beaver because it gives attack now so yeah that's good it hits both tabbies we find another tabby but we can't really keep four on the team we're gonna we need a pivot slot to buy sell the the toy pets here I was thinking about getting rid of the tropical fish so I could just buy the this uh, salad and guarantee hitting a cat but you can see there the ability does not go off now when it eats uh, health food it has to be um, perks so we've now got garlic on the front unit I feel like get garlic is uh, pretty important these days um, although it is frustrating when you get matched with raccoon which was happening a lot when I first started playing although to be honest it's kind of uh, diminished since then and the balloon uh, breaks and we get the plus one one which isn't great but it's better than nothing and I'll take the lemur to get another toy activated and then bring in the second tropical fish and we have to use the honey to enable the ability for the turn. I think the, the temporary tax not really that important but you know it's nice to get some kind of benefit from the ability. Another team that has the sturgeon I feel like that's one of the best early game units in this pack but we still win. And we do have Chameleon there, but pilling Chameleon for the small amount of health from the Lemur uh, isn't really worth it, I don't think. I could probably have um, combined the uh, Tropical Fish and then pilled the Tar there to get uh, Chili on one of the middle ones, but um, I decided against it. And you can see I just rolled down the whole turn. I was just looking for level ups, Tropical Fish or another Tabby Cat. And I freeze both pills again because I'm thinking about uh, Pangolin. And Mole is one that I'm, I can't decide if it's too strong or not, because initially its ability seems really convoluted and weak. But then you go against the, a level 2 Mole is summoning a 1616 unit, and it suddenly seems kind of ridiculous. So here I get the uh, oven mitts online and then buy the uh, pill, the pangolin. Definitely worth it, I think, for the... Um, injection of health onto our highest attack unit. Uh, another team with uh, one big unit at the front and uh, hatching chick. And But I think we're actually going to be okay. Yep, it's definitely, you can see the health scaling early pay, paying off quite well. So there's Mosasaurus, perfect timing for the toy that's going to break next turn. I take the level up and here, yeah, I'm, I'm deciding, yeah, I should just take Mosasaurus now, I think instead of um, messing around with the mongoose because that would actually reset the trigger, uh, reset the timer on the lasagna. So we're gonna move the 
Tropical Fish back and put Mosasaurus second so that the biggest two units get the extra stats. Definitely feel it's beneficial to stat up or focus buffs onto one or two units rather than um, spread it out too much. Here we're going to win as a result of the B, so that was uh, kind of lucky because honey, I mean, I almost never buy it these days. But I guess in a pack like this where perks are so uh, important, it's probably going to be purchased a lot more often, usually on an elephant seal though. And now I'm looking for a chameleon, looking for um, other useful uh, perks, and definitely pie is one of them. So there's another tabby, and we also have the chocolate. And I think I'm going to level up, try and level up the Mosasaurus in time for the toy breaking in two turns. And we'll freeze the tabby. I can't remember if I use it for a level up here or not. Uh, Bat unfortunately hits the front unit, but I think we're still going to be fine. Yep. It is kind of weird where you're going against teams that have, you know, they're waiting for the toy to break the next turn. So they're probably going to be a lot stronger in the subsequent turn. And here I think, um, yeah, we'll, we'll replace the honey. Although it did save us there, the pancakes is definitely worth it. And I think I'm going to sell, yeah, 100%. You've got to sell the um, mongoose there and take the puma for the double toy effect. Probably a unit that's too strong and may end up getting changed. But um, for now, we've got to use it, especially when we're trying to get these uh, five of a kinds. There is chameleon as well, which is uh, very good. However, the toy just broke. You can see there I'm looking for anglerfish to see if I can get uh, one of the units. And we do get the mongoose. So now I can um, buy, sell it, and then pill the chameleon. And that's going to give um, plus four or four to the tabby cats. And the puma, which is kind of standing in as a, um, an honorary tabby cat uh, for now. Here I should probably just take the the second puma for the extra activation. I feel like, uh, yeah, this, this is just coincidence that there's uh, the, the, the double puma in yesterday's video as well. But um, in this pack, you just have to be very opportunistic and take whichever of the um, aggressive scaling options you can get in the late game. But because it's a five of a kind, we have to get rid of them sooner or later. And it's probably going to have to be sooner because we're running out of turns. And you can see there, I unfreeze the mongoose. Well, I'm going to actually get to level up the puma, which is perfect because it means I can buy another tabby. It does mean that there's not going to be space for the chameleon, which is why I unfreeze the pill here. Um, and we've got the final tabby cat ready and to go as soon as uh, the toy breaks. Unfortunately, putting a weak unit up the front uh, is a little bit less effective in this pack because of the mantis shrimp, but um, it was fine. We're, we're, I think we're a bit ahead of the curve here with the scaling. And we're going to get the triple activation on the, uh, uh, on the television, which massively boosts the, the team stats. Of course, now the puma is useless because there's no... Um, toy on board but I think I'm just going to keep it because of its stats and hope that it um, helps me win the following battle. I think here I was thinking about moving it back. I could just buy the um, lasagna for plus three health which should mean that it won't die to a level one mantis shrimps uh, snipe which is what I end up doing in the end and I probably could freeze the lemon because it's going to be better than garlic and now we just need some good matchups. Lionfish, although it doesn't, and exactly what I, I said just happened, where the uh, the unit at the front survived based on the eleven health. That's you, you can't draw it up any better than that. So now we have to sell our twenty two, uh, uh, twenty one puma by the tabby cat. I actually did that in the wrong order, so I missed out on a tiny bit of attack on the backline unit. But we do get the pancakes, which is the best possible outcome again. And what's the final opponent going to be? Uh, it's a, another mole team. So level 3 mole spawns at 24, 24. But the rest of their team isn't going to stand up to the uh, aggressive television puma scaling. So there's another uh, early game unit done. Uh, we're gradually getting through them, not at the same rate as the tier 5s and 6s, but... If the scaling stays the way it is in this pack, we're probably going to get quite a few more before the next patch.